Hey, it's Rob, and I am up on the back deck today with uh, Piper, and Isis is over there, kind of hanging out. Uh, decided to do something a little bit different. Uh, you know I've been working on uh, deck railings for a while, and it's turning out to be uh, a lot more work than I had originally planned. So, making a few changes. Uh, I'm going to be putting up some temporary deck railings. If that wind isn't getting too wonky. Um, primarily because the deck railings are for the dogs. Uh, Hello, plane! The, I still plan on putting on real deck railings and finishing off the roof, but um, it's a lot more work than I had originally planned on. And the dogs need to be outside while I'm home and get to enjoy the deck a little bit more. So I'm going to try and do something temporary but safe so that they can be outside while I'm upstairs without having to be in the yard and they can hang out and have more fun because otherwise they get really bored and bored dogs are unhappy dogs. So, all right, today my plan is to get the base railings in uh, I've done a lot of prep work already and moved some of the lighting fixtures. Uh, might have to move another camera, things like that. But uh, I got the posts pre drilled. They're uh, sitting over there. And hopefully, I can get the posts in today. Oh, the wind. Yeah, that's not helpful, is it? All right. Uh, hopefully, I can get all the posts in today. I'm going to try. Um, if I don't succeed, hopefully I'll get them in soon. Alright, what I'm doing with these is I'm mounting them on the underside to act as a sort of a stop or a bottom shelf where I can rest the bottom of the post while I uh, set it plumb to the surface and try and get it aligned as close to, you know, as up and down as I can so that the fence will fit together, or the fence, the railing, whatever you want to call it, the fence is fine. Also see I marked these with tape uh, because the sharpie markers are really difficult to see. I mean, go back and look at the sharpie markers that I put on here for the other rail. Barely see them anymore. So. Okay, we are at the part of our broadcast day where. Uh, I'm going to try something. I've got to try and figure out uh, quite how to hold these on. I think I've got it. I've got these clamps. I'm going to try and set this on this base that I've got. Clamp it in place temporarily. Uh, try and straighten it out as much as possible. And then I'm going to drill one hole and then put the carriage bolt through so that it's got one bolt holding it on. Then I will go back and re-straighten it, make it plumb, drill the second hole, I hope, uh, and put the second carriage bolt in. Theoretically, that should work. One of the problems is I've got this drill bit, which is the right size, but it's not long enough to go through both the 4x4 and the 2x10 that's underneath it. I also have this drill bit, which is plenty long, but that puts me out here drilling, which is really uncomfortable. It would be better if I was doing that from the ladder, but I'm not on the ladder. I'm trying to stay off the ladder if I can. Alright, try it.
want to see. Uh, this looks like up here. I can't really see it. the camera. Hopefully you can. This is a really awkward place to be, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on camera. And that has those nice and solidly mounted. Okay, I think that's a win. Let's see if we can keep going. So the next thing is to unwrap this garden fence and then staple it to the uh, insides of the posts. So I'm going to take a little break and put some tools away and then we'll get to that. I'm starting from this side. I don't have this side sealed off yet because I want to make this an openable gate so that I can pass stuff up from the deck down here. Like I need to get the extension ladder up, I want to have a place that I can do it. But, the surround is done. Uh, this I gotta take off, but uh, that should be enough to keep these two from going over the edge. That was, uh, I don't know, about seven hours of, seven hours of work, but good thing to have done. So it's temporary. Um, once I get the brackets for the the actual uh, 4x4s in, I can work on that and put in the railings and make it all pretty and everything. But for right now, it's functional enough to keep the dogs from going over the edge. And that's kind of the important part. So, all right, that's enough for now. See you guys later.
you can see, Piper is being very healthy. 